Okay, welcome back to the second part of this video tutorial. Um, before I start modeling the character, it's very important to know that what we are aiming here is not creating a realistic character. We are trying to create a character, um, preferably something cartoony. Um, so I'm going to get started and for the sake of this tutorial, I'm going to ignore the head because there will be other tutorials separate for the head. Um, that takes a bit of a time. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start with the arm. What I personally like to do is model the arms and the legs separately. In order to create the arms, you will probably see most people just starting with the cylinder and they will um, start with something like this and then try to uh, manipulate the cylinder in order to give it give it a realistic shape. That's not what I like to do. Um, I like to create the joint for the shoulder, the elbow and the wrist, and then bridge them together. Um, in order to do that, you could start with a cylinder, or you could go ahead and start with a plane and just go around it um, and create it yourself. So in this case, what I'm going to do is I'm going to have one cylinder but I'm not going to have any segments, uh, any height segments in there. I don't need any of that. Considering this is going to be a game character, I don't need 18 sides either. I'll just go with 9. This will make it easier for me to model as well. Um, I want to make sure that I can see through my model so that I can um, take advantage of the reference I have behind it. So I'm going to right click Object Properties. Again, I need to click on by layer because I'm using Theos Max Design. You wouldn't need to do this if you're using the normal version of 3D Studio Max. Um, and once that's done, Alt X, as you can see the shortcut there, it should make my cylinder see through, but it doesn't. Okay, that actually didn't work. Okay, there we go. Um, so I'm going to have this over here. I'm going to make it a bit thinner, make it a bit larger over here and I will also go ahead, convert this to Editor Poly I will also go ahead and delete the two sides, so I only have that what I may also want to do is select these lines and vertices and move them around a little bit so it doesn't have that very uh, perfect shape of a cylinder because human bodies are organic uh, they don't have a perfect cylinder shape so just giving that more of a random design there we just take that one in a little bit more okay just playing around with it a little bit that's fine once this is done I want to turn my selection tools off I'm gonna shift and drag that over here for the elbow I'm, I want to copy and I want to rotate this now and scale it down and then shift and drag it again <coughs> rotate it and scale it down and the wrist will need to be narrow if you like so I'm going to scale this. If I select scale, I couldn't just scale it in the axis here unless if I change that to say local, I should be able to um, scale it in the appropriate axis. Now what I'm going to do, I need to attach all these three cylinders into one. Now as you can see here, this is a little bit too big. So I'm just going to go ahead and try to fix this a little bit. That's, that's fine. Um, Let's just look at it from a 3D view. Yeah, that's, that should do for now. We need to make sure that these three individual cylinders become one object. So I'm going to select one, attach, and select on the um, other two cylinders. So I'm going to select this border, hold control and select the other border. And here, I'm going to click on bridge. If I click on bridge, it just creates a bridge between them, but that's not what I want. I want to create a bridge, but I also want to change the settings between that. So I'm going to click on the settings of bridge. I'm going to say that I want multiple segments in between. And 
I may also want to uh, play around with some of these settings over here to see what, what I can achieve uh, maybe uh, because this is uh, a male I'm gonna bulge out that area a little bit um, and I just want a semi random organic shape um, what I may also actually do before I convert that to uh, or apply the bridge I want to select this model on the left viewport I'm going to bring this over here so I can take advantage of uh, of my side image and in this case I can see that my shoulder is way too big so I may want to just select that item and scale it down and maybe even just follow this this outline that I have here what I could also do is just go back to my layers and unfreeze my references select this image plane and just increase the width of this because then in that case I have this arm over here as well which I could use in my advantage so let me just actually go back in there and freeze my references again I'm going to select this arm and actually I made a mistake because that needs to be a little bit wider for me to be able to see the arm better freeze again okay so I'm going to select this and bring it over here just to try it on this as well in this case I'm going to have this over here and I'm going to have the wrist over here okay that's much better I could bring that back over here now if I wanted to <clears throat> so now let's do our bridge again so this border and the border facing it I want to select them both and I'm gonna go ahead and click on the settings of bridge and then that looks much better in my opinion maybe a little bit bulge there press OK and a similar thing from the elbow to the wrist but what I like to do is reduce the size of this a little bit because this loop here and this loop there they have the exact same size and that doesn't in my opinion doesn't look too good so I'm going to scale that down a little bit so it has a more of an organic shape again select that loop uh, that um, border edge and this border edge is here and then bridge them again this time when I bridge them I don't want any bulge here but I want the wrist to rotate as it comes down like so press tick and that's the arm done 